blessings and welcome to another piano tutorial by Moshua Music. I'm glad that you could join me today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a uh, simple concept that you can use to create movement. Uh, even when you're just playing simple chords, even as simple as triads, to just add and enhance your sound. And before we get started with that, I would ask that if this is your first time on the channel, that you would hit that subscribe button. If it's not your first time and you've not subscribed yet, you know what to do. I also ask you to hit the uh, like button and the notifications icon so we can alert you when we upload videos and grow this channel, all right? And so we're going to be using the key of D flat major as our example. We're going to take a simple example. We're going to use like a 4, 5, 1. No, no we do a 4, 5, 6. In like a one seven, so I'll just play through some of it. A four, five, six, seven, one, and then it, we're gonna repeat. P. So here's where we're going to just add just add something I'm trying to play it a little slow All right, so what are we doing? When we when we get back to this one, what we're doing is we're doing like a circular movement. We're doing like a passing from the one to the four. But we're adding some movement in it to enhance it. So we played it in the simplest form. It would be like... But what I'm doing to add some motion to it is I'm just playing notes of the chord. So the D flat major chord is D flat, F, uh, A flat. And so but what I'm doing is I'm rolling to the three of D flat, which is the F. I'm rolling from like a whole step above it. And then I'm just outlining the rest of the chord. So I'm rolling from this E flat, E, F, to this D flat, to this A flat. And then I'm playing the next chord. But what I'm doing different is I'm playing, instead of me playing it in root position, I'm playing it in like a first inversion. So I got three, five, one. So when I go to this, my next chord would be this, this uh, A flat at uh, nine. And so let me just give you the chords for this movement in just you, in case you didn't know. I'm using this G flat major nine, G flat, F, A flat, B flat, and you got this D flat as well. I'm doing this A flat add nine to this B flat minor. To A flat over C, A flat at nine over C, to D flat add nine. So
And so I'm passing What I would, be, would, would do if I put out the movement. Right? And so, in going to that uh, A flat, when I'm playing as an E flat inverted in my left hand, G. A flat, E flat, and I'm rolling from this F, F to this, to this G flat to the G, and then I'm one, five, and I'm just playing a chord, inverted as well. get to this uh, A flat you could use it this B flat you could use it as well because right, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm playing on my left hand F you can do F C E flat and I'm rolling from this G to this A well in, in whole in half steps And something you could do to add to that, you don't have to stop there. So what I'm trying to do is just give you an idea how you can take simple chords and simple worship and, and add movement to it. You could even do that, uh, you know, you can add that. You can look at that if, as a dominant chord. You could take a dominant chord like this, this uh, D flat, uh, major, uh, dominant seven. that as well and so one of the things I sometimes I do uh, when I when I finish something like that a movement like that let's, let's do that again in my left hand I do a shell of a D flat 7 D flat F and B roll to the seven of the chord, which would be, in this case, B. From A flat, B flat, B. Then I then I just switch to the move I showed you. I hope this is making sense. So take this concept, uh, use it in progressions in places where you, uh, you, you're familiar with, add it to your vocabulary. Remember, continue to play, continue to pray. Blessings.